finding your easy gear. We are in and around our 40% of MAP, somewhere for most of you in that 80 to 110 watts. Bigger riders perhaps get up to about 120. Nice high leg speed in that 90 to 105 RPM. This is our cadence efficiency zone that we continue to work on through all of our efforts here. We're two minutes here and then moving up through the watts in our warm up before we get into an aerobic endurance set. So nice and easy turnover of the legs. And we're coming up to our first minute here. One more minute. Good time to check in again. Are your hands in a comfortable position? Are you nice and loose in your wrists? Can you give your elbows a little wiggle? Can you take a deep breath in, breath out without constriction through your rib cage? Gently bringing your core into engagement. This isn't a full on six pack take a punch core. This is just a gentle activation so that we can make those subtle shifts with our back body to direct our power and our energy down through our legs where we need them most. In 15 seconds, let's move the gear up to 50%. And three, two, one, same cadence, 50% watts. We're two minutes here. Getting a nice quick warm up in. If you have time before this session to do a little bit more ahead of time, that's great. If not, we'll get you there. So you're at your 50%. Still in that 90 to 105 RPM. Another minute and a half to go here. Working our way up through the gears at this preferred cadence range. Get ourselves warm in a hurry. Hopefully you've got your windows open or fans on, something to have some airflow, cool your body down a bit as we ramp up. And our next move is going to be up to 60%. We'll be looking for that in about 45 seconds, still at this preferred cadence range. seconds to go. Give a little thought to your feet. Check in. Make sure they're engaged as well. You want to feel that pedal all the way through the pedal stroke, not just on the push over the top. And finding 60% watts. Same cadence. 90 to 105. Just bringing in a bit more gear. Most of us are gravitating to our preferred cadence here. For a lot of endurance riders, that tends to be in that low 90 range. But it's worth practicing adding a few RPMs, especially when we're in the warm up phase. Our mountain bikers, gravel riders, they fluctuate a lot more between the RPMs as they navigate the terrain. Quick little spin ups over things, corners. And in just over a minute, 
We go to our final two minutes at our 70% watts. So getting comfortable here at 60. Remembering that 60% in this 90 to 100, 100-ish RPM range is in and around our all-day pace. It always feels tougher when we're hitting it for the first time. And that's why we warm it up, below and above. So 30 more seconds here till our final move up through the gears as part of our quick warm up. And trying to keep your leg speed the same, let's bring in the next gear level here, 70% of your MAP. We're here for two more minutes. Keep those legs turning over. We're now at a tempo pace, 70% of MAP, which is also just under your functional threshold of power, which is in and around your hour power. So this 70%, you possibly could be going at for longer than 60 minutes, but not necessarily all day. Just over a minute to go. Again, checking in with that upper body. Make sure you haven't tightened your grip. We're riding bikes. We're holding our bars properly. We're looking up the road. And just thinking about the smooth turning of circles. Nice work. 30 more seconds, then we have one minute easy before we get into our main set. So let's keep riding strong at this 70% right through the next 15 seconds. And three, two, one, back the gear off. Keep the leg speed high. We only have a minute here. Grab some hydration. Our main set today is two times through, working up from our 70% to our 85%. We're working on our aerobic endurance here. So we're moving from that 70% range and then testing up closer to that higher output. We begin with three minutes at 70% at your preferred cadence, three minutes at 75% at your preferred cadence, two minutes at 80% at your preferred cadence, and the final minute using RPM we move up to 85%. Then we have one minute easy in between and repeat the set. So let's find that 70% now. Preferred cadence. We're on for our first three minutes. Remember, preferred cadence is between 90 and 100 for most, can be as high as 105. This is our combination of cardiovascular and power efficiency. We're 30 seconds in. So 
So our goal with this type of a workout is to build our aerobic endurance. The output we can put at a certain heart rate, ideally we are increasing the power we can put out for a longer period of time while strengthening our cardiovascular system to maintain uh, an efficient level for you. So at the beginning, when you begin these kind of workouts, you might be at a certain power level at your certain zone heart rate. And then ideally you can maintain that same zone heart rate with a higher power output. That's the basic concept. Holding steady here, you're at 70% watts, 90 to 100 RPM. Just over a minute to go here before our move up to 75%. Always remembering to check in with your body. We have a great opportunity here to invest in some good habits, not letting ourselves sag in our lower backs, really directing all of our energy through our core, down through our legs, And in 15 seconds, maintaining this cadence, moving the gear up a little bit to your 75%. In three, two, one. Bring up that gear, 75%. Three minutes here, same cadence, your preferred cadence, 90 to 100-ish RPM. We're 15 seconds in, let's we'll settle in. We are now in and around our hour power. Thinking about your feet, they're doing the work here. Setting this pace, setting this wattage, looking up the road, and letting your body settle in. It knows what to do. It's always those first 15 or 20 seconds while you settle into a new gear that are hardest and then you adapt. And coming up to halfway through this part, minute and a half to go. These longer sets where we stay at one place for two, three, four, five, six plus minutes are also a good mental test. It's not always easy, especially when you're at home, perhaps by yourself on your trainer. This is where your mental toughness comes into play. One more minute. And never is that more important than when you're out riding, perhaps even solo, where you just need to dig in. You have the advantage at home of putting on your favorite music. Music is definitely a motivator, scientifically proven. And in 15 seconds, another gear change, up to 80% of your MAP, same cadence. 
In three, two, one. Bring in the gear, 80% watts. Cadence between 90 and 100. Your preferred cadence. We're here for two minutes this time. And that's 20 seconds in. As these wattages go up, again, check in with your power center right here. Make that little adjustment. See if that makes your body feel a little bit more powerful. And that's one minute in, one to go. And if you can still sing your favorite song while you're here, kudos. This is generally past our talking level. And in 30 seconds, our final minute through RPM only, we'll move up to our 85% by increasing leg speed. Coming up in 15 seconds, And three, two, one, bring up the leg speed. Enough so that you can find your 85% watts. Let's go. Maybe it's only five RPM, maybe it's 10. 15 seconds in, you should be there. Let's go. And once you're at that level, Hold, hold steady. Don't let it fall off. You're better to bring it up over 15 seconds and be able to hold than to jump right into it and fall off. Come on, 15 more seconds. And three, two, one, back it off easy. One minute to catch your breath. And we repeat that set. Get that gear off, the leg speed up. Settle your breath. We get what we can. Thirty more seconds. Getting a little hydration in, but you should be able to drink at least through the first six minutes. And in fifteen seconds, we begin again. So finding your preferred cadence. We are looking to start at our seventy percent watts. In three, two. One, bring in the gear. 70% of MAP, 90 to 100 RPM, your preferred cadence. We're here for three minutes. And we're 20 seconds in. Everyone should be there. Up at this tempo pace. You should still be able to talk a bit, if not quite full sentences, at least make your point. Or if you're lucky, you have a, a buddy you're riding with who talks and talks and talks, and then you can just listen. And coming up to our first minute. Two to go. 
Remember, keep that gear at your 70%. We have lots of time ahead to move up. Perhaps this time through, 70% feels more like an hour plus pace than it did the first time through. Now that we have touched on wattages above this and are much more thoroughly warm in our bodies. And one more minute to go here, just over a minute before our next move up. This is a great time to tell yourself some motivational stories. What are your goals? What do you see yourself doing on your next ride outside? This is not the time to make your to-do list. We want to be focused on the bike. And in 15 seconds, we move our gear up to our 75% watts. Cadence stays the same. In your preferred cadence range, 90 to 100. RPM. In three, two, one. Bring in a little more gear. 75%. Three minutes. So think about what that goal feels like that you're working towards. Can you visualize yourself crossing a line, achieving an obstacle, descending something that you were perhaps not super confident about before? Or maybe it's getting to the next switchback on that epic climb that you'll be doing this summer. Keep the focus. Two minutes to go. There's no space for negativity here. This is all positive. Every time you get on your bike that you show up, we're working towards these goals. And just like most of the climbs and rides we do, it's not a straight line up. Which is why we're continuously working on various forms of our cycling, be it strength, aerobic, anaerobic, endurance, so many different systems. One minute to go. This is just a really stable pedal stroke here at your hour power. You can still grab some hydration. Not always as easy when you're up in the 80% plus watts. But keep on top of that. And practice, of course. The more you practice it, the easier it becomes when you're outside. 15 seconds for our next move up to our 80% watts. Same cadence.
And three, two, one. Bring in that gear. 80% of your MAP, two minutes, 90 to 100 RPM. Where you like to be. That's 30 seconds in. Nice and strong. Keep that breathing steady. And that's one minute, one to go. Quick check. Still in the right zone. 90 to 100 RPM, 80%. All right, carry on. In just over 30 seconds, using RPM alone, we're bringing that gear up to 85% for our final minute. Take the first 10 to 15 seconds to bring it up and then hold on. I'll count that down. And three, two, one, bring up the leg speed. RPM by RPM, five seconds in, finding 85%, 10 seconds in, should be pretty much there, and we're 15 seconds in, hold on. Come on, ride steady, don't let that fall off. Do not let those RPMs go down. This is how we get stronger. Stronger for longer. Come on, 15 seconds to go. Right through. And three, two, one, back off the gear. One minute easy. Right off. Definitely take the extra time to continue in that easy gear. Another five to 10 minutes before you hop off your bikes. So that was some aerobic endurance work today. Remember, doesn't get easier, you just get stronger and faster. And maybe you can smile more. 15 more seconds. Nice work, everyone. And we'll see you next time.